Hi, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world in the off-grid project. This is my last day in the U.S. for a while. I'm heading off to Australia. Uh, just some people might be jumping in on this channel uh, sometime in the near future. And I'd just like to explain, I have been living in an RV in the middle of the forest off the grid and showing people that you can get off the grid for under $5,000 for most average families. This does require a bit of lifestyle change to reach that price goal, but you can do it. And uh, putting aside the RV renovations I've done, not, not looking at that, but looking rather at the rainwater collection I've made, the solar powered system I have, and the power inverter, AC lines, DC power, waste disposal, uh, basically I'm off the grid and those things there, what you would need to get off the grid could be done for five thousand or less for an average home. My Right now I'm standing in Michigan at my parents backyard, not exactly off the grid but I am um, just here dropping off my cat before I go to Australia for winter, their summer and just like to give you a little uh, overview about what's going on and what's going to happen anyway um, maybe next year my parents are talking about have me get their house off the grid so then I can really put to the test everything I've talked about and preached all this year and that'll be good to show you that I can do it and that I can take somebody's home off the grid uh, under $5,000 and just to explain, there seems to be some confusion. People sometimes say, ah, Troy isn't off the grid because he goes and buys groceries. Nah, off the grid means there's no wires coming to my place, no lines, no pipes, no utilities, no waste disposal. I've provided all that myself. That's off the grid. Primitive living, on the other hand, is running around in a loincloth in the forest and making your own tools and implements and having no connection to the outside world at all and that's not me self sustainability self-reliance that's a goal I have for next year I hopefully will be pretty much self-sufficient which means no more trips to the grocery store I will still have a car because we live in the modern world I'm not going to separate myself from the outside world but I will still have a car and pay insurance I'll still have a cell phone for emergency and for int internet, but the plan is to have my own food preservation, my own food supply, and really save a lot of money that way and not need to go and buy the processed, chemically polluted junk. But anyway, that's the goal for next year. I am going to be in Australia helping out my church. I really can't tell you what's coming. I will keep the cameras rolling. I will continue uploading videos. Check out my channel for... I don't know if I'll be able to do videos every day or not. I do know I won't be answering comments as much, but please do keep commenting. I'll check them out whenever I get a chance. Answer any questions I can. Check out the forum. I'm going to be using the forum heavily. I've got moderators on my YouTube channel now and I'll have moderators on the forum to help me out so check out the forum it's www.thediyworld.com slash forum I'll write that on the video here uh, if you got suggestions anything off-grid alternate energy do-it-yourself repair your car electronics come on over to the forum share your experience share your projects share your ideas get suggestions and help for your experiments and projects. Be happy to help you. And there's a largely growing network of people on the forum already helping others. And it's great to see it. This is why I started the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. To have people helping people. It's it's a, a way for everybody to come together like a family and a network and everybody helping everybody. And it's grown beyond my wildest imaginations on YouTube. So that, that's good. 
and the forum is starting to get used pretty heavily. And it's nice to see everybody helping everybody. It's really good to have this turning out and be forming a community. So that's very nice. There's occasional cars out here, but I am going to the Australian, um, I don't know the proper word for it, I've been corrected in not saying Outback, but I'm going to a property outside of Coffs Harbor, where it's going to be very, very, very rustic, very wild, and they have to cut back to jungle continuously. I don't know what they'll have me doing, but it'll be fun going to hopefully do some down under experiments and projects and next spring whether February or March I'm not sure yet I'll be back and continue on with the off-grid project and the next stages I will reveal to you later I have some plans in the workings some ideas it all depends on finances and working deals with my landlady and stuff but hopefully I'll have either a cottage or tiny home and continue to off group projects and finish writing my book and making the DVD. So I'm looking at maybe uh, definitely delaying the finishing the book, but I will be continuing to the writing of it while I'm in Australia and um, just keep on going. So thank you all for being there and I hope you enjoy the videos from the land down under.